What is going on guys and welcome back to the Southampton career mode here on FIFA 21 and today we have a live com game against Chelsea who are sixth in the league. We have a little bit of time skip from the last episode as you guys know and we are still sitting pretty in the league right now. Uh, Manchester United, Liverpool, uh, they've got away from us a little bit. They're on 65 points after 27 games and we're on 57 so eight points back at the moment so maybe the title race is going to be between them two. Man City on the outside here, trying to get out catch us with Spurs. And today's opponents, Chelsea, down in sixth on 47 points. So a win for Chelsea gets them back close to us. We're currently 10 points ahead of them. And uh, I'm sure City and Spurs will also be hoping for a Chelsea win here. We are at home in this one. But let's go ahead and take a look at the results that we have had since the uh, last episode. And as you can tell by the league standards, we've been doing pretty well. And we'll go back here to where we left off, which was the 1-1. Disappointing 1-1 draw against Aston Villa. And things didn't get better against the Birmingham clubs in the next uh, game there. We drew 1-1 yet again. This time with West Brom and Albion in a midweek Tuesday night game um, in which uh, West Brom actually took the lead. Uh, uh, Diang tabbed home after the 30th minute after a low ball was crossed in from the left. And uh, another really disappointing start for us. And we was hoping for better after that 1-1 draw against Villa. And then in the 41st minute, our boy Billy Gilmore uh, on low from Chelsea. Got us back in this game. And uh, we drew that one 1-1. One, one. We went into the next game, though, with a little bit more of an attacking flair. And we took on Burnley, as you can see here, winning this one by five goals to two. Uh, game, uh, goals in this one coming from uh, Todd Canwell, who opened the scoring in the 15th minute. We then, just a few moments later, uh, Luis Suarez managed to take his second chance after the goalkeeper saved the first one in the 19th minute, making it two goals to nil. Burnley then did get one back through Jay Rodriguez after a low ball crossed in from the right-hand side. And Rodriguez managed to guide that one past McCarthy into the back of the net. And then the game got looked a little bit more interesting, but um, after a quick one to a cheeky dink by your boy Hacker, he did in fact make it 3-1. And then another quick one too before a Doku finish this time to make it 4-1. And we finally get away from Burnley. Uh, Suarez got his second of the game to make it 5-1. And then late on in the game, a bit of lazy defending by us. And Burnley managed to sneak a second goal. But a goal fest there. And uh, we're hoping for more goals in today's episode as we took on Leicester. Uh, and the goals continued for us. We then went and beat them 4-0 away from home, which is uh, quite a shocking result, really. Um, and we started off brilliantly in the eighth minute when Suarez broke through and finished past the goalkeeper to put us 1-0 up. The uh, second coming just eight minutes later after Diata managed to find his way in behind and slot it into the back of the net as well. He then made it 3-0 after uh, Ihatarin with an absolutely beautiful run down the left-hand side. Um, and he puts it across for Suarez to make it 3-0. Suarez completes his hat-trick for us in this one. Um, I think he actually scored his 20th goal at some point. I think the first one was his 20th um, of the season. And he completes his hat-trick in the 61st minute. And the final game, we took on Everton away from home. It's another win. A 2-1 win for us here. Uh, 39th minute is a, uh, a little, little finish by Hatter. And he's been doing really well. We switched him to Cam and he's really performing well in there instead of uh, your boy Almeida, who's obviously out injured. 2-0, uh, 45th minute. A beautiful build-up again by us. We've been playing some really nice football. And a cheeky little finish by Suarez, who's uh, absolutely in form right now. Top goal scorer in the league. Um, a late goal for them. It had to be Andre Gomez, didn't it? He played right wing last time he played Everton. He actually did play in the middle. And after memeing him a little bit, he did actually get a goal in this one to make it 2-1. Um, we've had a week's rest since that game, and now we're taking on Chelsea in the live com today. So let's go ahead and get into that one. Uh, we'll see how we're going to line up here. We have been playing this uh, formation, well not formation, lineup really, a little bit more with Campbell out on the left. He was actually in the middle, and Ihatarin was out on the left, but we switched Ihatarin into the middle, and we've kind of been tweaking that left midfielder. Campbell has played well, got some goals from out there, um, but Doku has also done well. Uh, Gilmore's done well when he's had to come in for Puig. Uh, Walprouse, constant performer as always. So we're going to stick with the lineup that you can see here on screen. Um, that's going to be the Chelsea lineup. Werner, Harvards, Zaha, who's now signed for them as well. N'Golo Kante, Renato Augusto is their captain. Uh, 
puts us on the right hand side. James Wakely, Silver, Emerson. I'm not sure who Wakely is. Um, Thiago Silva's obviously not got the legs. So, so this might be a chance for Suarez, Kepa in goal as well. So uh, we'll see how we go here against Chelsea. Suarez will get us kicked off here then at the St. Mary's Stadium into Captain Ward Prousey. And uh, pitch looking lovely down there today, actually. Uh, Chelsea obviously got a lot of stars. Can they put it together? I'm not sure on this defence, you know. And actually, the movement already is sus. Sus of movement from the Chelsea centre back. Suarez, I think, has the ability to open them up just with simple movement, I think, today. But it's going to be whether the midfield can create enough for him I guess he had it in it's going to be one of them and oh look at this already Reese James exposed by Todd Cantwell and that is one that after five minutes well we have been playing some really nice football looking in behind and Todd Cantwell he's got a couple of goals for us from that left position another run in behind and an early goal for us or Prowse here look at that this simple ball through Chelsea really I think Centre back wise here could be exposed. Kepa nowhere near the the save. And into the bottom corner it goes for one 0 Great tackle in there by Ward Prowse, putting the pressure on the wide midfielder who come central. And uh, Cantwell is going to give this one to Suarez. He's up against Wakeley. Let's see what the defender can do here. We've dragged the centre back all the way out. The ball's going to come across. We don't really have any height in. Um, apart from Suarez, so that was never really going to work, but we'll keep it in there. Wakely's now going to be tested by Ward Prowse. Again, he's out of position at centre-back, but unable to create. It's Renato Augusto for Chelsea. He's going to slip that in behind uh, Bertrand for Rhys James. Not really looking like he's going to be crossing that one early as he takes his time, and Chelsea tried to build instead of cross and it's going to be their mistake is we're going to get this one to James who's got a good 20-30 yards away from Reese James already and it's Wakely who's had to come across here Cantwell well that's not winger behaviour we need better throw in from Cantwell we'll fired Ward Prowse as he has it in he's got his dancing shoes on today find Ricky Puig Yatta scoops it to Suarez, who brings it down and turns it. Oh, my Lord. That is absolutely wonderful from Suarez. He's just clinical, isn't he? When he gets a look at goal, he takes it. Kepa nowhere near it again. And Asante, Chelsea defenders are going to be exposed today. Look at this. Ball just up into the air. Simple bit of control. Thiago Silva brushed away. On his right-hand side. Hits it beautifully. Gets it on target. Fingertips actually touch it from Kepa, but it's not going to keep it out. And it's 2-0. Lampard's men are falling apart here. And European football is almost going to be guaranteed with a result here today. 2-0 after just 20 minutes in this one. There's Golo Kante. Timo Werner. Ricky Puig just shadows him beautifully. But he couldn't keep possession. Anyway, we are going to now have it back. He had that in. Oh my god, he sold. He's just sold and Golo Gante, but he couldn't get the pass off. Zaha, Chelsea look to break. They've got pace. They're going to find Havertz. And Zaha in a box for him. If he can turn and find a cross, he's going to take his time with it again here. And then finally pass to Emerson, who's going to dink it in. And teasingly, but they don't have Alan Scherer up front. That's not going to concern us. As Cantwell puts it down pitch and lets Suarez chase. This is... Route one, but it works because Silver's nowhere to be seen again. Suarez is too quick, too strong, too powerful, and Chelsea get lucky on that one. But Suarez is dominating this right now. Frank Lampard has got to be furious right now. We're 36 minutes into this game. Chelsea are 2 0 down, and they've failed to look anything near creative as of yet. This is a huge game for them. They have to get points from this. They lose today. They get 13 points behind us. And they lose possible ground on Man City and Tottenham as well. So, they need a result here. If not, their season is looking at European football next year. As they come forward down the right-hand side here again, they're just trying to work it. They don't whip balls in. And they're going to actually find a man in the box this time. Kai Harvard's 
puts it softly towards McCarthy's hands and will punt long. But Chelsea will try and mount another attack here. And they slowly work it through. Havertz again. We need to try and stop him picking that ball up. And Ward-Prowse has got to be the man to try and do it. Anderson finds a hole. Will drop short. Better from Chelsea again. Van Housen now. Beautiful little block in there. And Cantwell's ball will find it. And we can break here. Oh, can we punish Chelsea? Silver again has been left with Suarez. Oh my God, he's done him surely from Suarez. Oh, and Kepa denies. An absolute highlight on Suarez's his resume. Turning Silver inside out there. And Kepa spreads himself well. Could have been three, but we are looking dangerous when we get that ball forward. Got a corner. Maybe something in here that's going to be close to Kepa, but he's not confident in coming and catching it. Could have caused problems, but it is half-time. It is 2-0 and a very good performance from us thus far. And now I played now, and Chelsea still really failing to put any sort of pressure on us at all. As they keep the ball with their defenders, Puertas... We'll kick him off the ball, why not? He's going to get it now here with a chance to run at Bertrand. He's going to find Werner. Chelsea maybe look to the bench soon if they can't get something within these next few minutes. And Reese James is out of position here. And maybe a chance for Cantwell with Augusto coming back on him. We're going to find Hatterin. And over the top for Suarez. Can he get there? He can't. Kepa. There's two goals in the first half the action's kind of dried up Chelsea trying to keep the ball but they're very defensive with the possession they're not really coming forward as you can see here they're just passing it between their defenders uh, occasionally go forward and maybe Pulisic now on this side is going to be the threat as they finally find Timo Werner maybe a chance for him to do something as he puts I mean what is that I mean really what is that here's Gilmore the Chelsea man on loan <laughs> against his side his parent club and Kante is going to make him. And he's then going to find Harvitz. And then he's going to slip it for Zahar. They need a man in the box to beat Timo Werner. And again, they fail to do anything of note. But we're going to give it straight back to them. And here is Harvitz. Bednarak, solid defensive work. Well, Prowse. We find the pass we can at this. I mean, what is that though? Gilmore. I think we need to take him off. He's clearly a Chelsea player. And he keeps giving the ball away. And here is... Werner van Housen with a tackle doesn't dispossess the German and it's going to get a shot on goal for McCarthy to save. I think we're actually going to make a change here with 10 minutes to go. We'll bring Cantwell off, I think, and get Jeremy Doku on. And uh, Curtis Jones is going to come on uh, to replace Diata. He had to get out onto the right. Jones as the camp. Just to defend this, get that ball up and nick a third. Why not? That's the plan. Here we go. Ball in by Renato Augusto. Headed goals. McCarthy saves. Now where's the breakaway? Here it is. Let's go. Bednar. Walker Peters. Third goal in coming. Gilmore. Probably wants to give it away, but well, look at that. He absolutely slowed down the play there, Gilmore. He's usually so much better than this. He's getting dominated. That's what that's more like it. Here we go. Suarez. Third goal in coming. He's going to give it to James Ward-Prowse. And Ward-Prowse is going to drift and drift and finish. And Kepper denies the third. Confidence is key. Look at that. We get confident. We create a chance. Not a bad finish, you know. And it's a really nice save from Kepper on the stretch. Now, he hasn't been coming for these corners. As Giroud comes on to defend this. Is he back in the box or is he stayed forward? We're going to crowd the goalkeeper, I think, with the... Keeper not looking strong from this kind of position. It's going to be headed away. And it's Ward Prowse. He's going to float it to the back post. And headed away. And Zaha keeps it in. He's going to beat Walker Peters. And gets past Bednarak. And Chelsea are going to get stopped by the big Belgian. Van Housen. Not today, he says. And off he comes. See you later. Oh my God, see you later. Embarrassing. It's a Hatterin to War Prow. Surely this time we do get the third. Confidence is key. And Van Housden out here looking like an informed Fabino at centre back. <laughs> Brilliant defending. 
running with the ball out of defence. You didn't know he had it in his locker and then the pass to he had that in. We switch him out to the right. He even does the job over there with the assist to Ward Browse. And he just wanted a goal today against Chelsea. Kepa beaten this time. 3-0. And European spots almost looking guaranteed here. James Ward Prowse with five goals this season. For Southampton. And surely that is it. Surely that will do referee. Two added minutes. They are up. And it is over. Massive result for us. We finally get to showcase, showcase those skills we've been on about. Um, we're doing really well right now. We're scoring goals and playing some really nice football. And we're actually wearing some really nice coats as well. I've, really, I've noticed that has been the big change in our managerial since we've actually worn proper managerial clothes and not the kit the team's been performing a lot better because you know they don't think I'm going to try and replace them every five minutes either way we've beaten Chelsea by three goals to nil and with that we come to the end of today's episode um, the Premier League table looks like this Manchester United top Liverpool got their game in hand they're second we sit in third five points behind Liverpool probably going to be eight points though after Liverpool play their game in hand and as you can see now we have moved superior away from Chelsea. It's just really City and Spurs now who we've got to watch out for. They can deny us Champions League football next season. They're both right there, just four points behind. And we are now at the start of March. So we'll take a look at the calendar and see where we're going to be coming back for the next episode. We've got Brighton. Uh, then we have a week off. Then we have Sheffield United. We then have another week off. And that's where we're going to come back next episode. It's going to be this one against Manchester City, I think. Um, a big one for us in the league and a chance, hopefully, for us to... Uh, push them back and uh, guarantee ourselves those uh, Champions League spots a little bit closer. But uh, not too many games to go. We still have Spurs and United to play. So they're probably going to be the live comms. We'll take a look here. City, Manchester United, and then we'll end against Spurs. And hopefully, you know, by this point, we'll be playing a second team and we'll be resting some players looking forward to a Champions League next season. But uh, we'll see. But that's going to do it for this one. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next one very soon.